There are reports from China saying that Tesla asked BYD and CATL, the two biggest battery companies in the world, for help with their 4680 battery cell production, and they were turned down. BYD and CATL said to Tesla, no, 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 we don't want to supply you with help with a certain part you need. We we'll only sell you a complete cell. And Tesla obviously said no. Now, here's the details behind why Tesla's 4680 battery cell production has been slower than what it was meant to be. The reason is because of one crucial part in a 4680 cell, which Tesla has had to source from China from alternative suppliers that it had never used before. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. I'll be at Electrify Everything, the show, the probably the biggest electric car show ever in Australian history in a couple of weeks now. It's going to be here in Sydney on the 9th to the 11th of February. And I'll put a promotion code in the description below. It's a 20% off code. It gives you cheaper tickets. It's only about 40 bucks, and it's actually free for kids up to 15 years of age. So we'd love to see you there. Tesla has begun purchasing a particular component of the 4680 battery cell from China, but it's had some troubles along the way. Tesla began purchasing cathode cells from a so-called second tier company in China. In other words, a company you've never heard of in the second half of 2023 and shipping them to its Texas factory in the United States by express post to produce 4680 batteries. Now, the reason Tesla's had to ship them express post, it can't ship them on a ship. It has to send them on an airplane, this particular part of the 4680 cell, because they only last for one week which is really interesting information here. Cathode coils are a battery cell component that accounts for around 35% of the overall cost of a 4680 battery cell. And Tesla had to find a company in China that it had not used before because it was turned down by its existing battery suppliers. The practice of sourcing coils from China before making them into batteries is likely to continue until the third quarter of this year. Apparently the third quarter of this year is when Panasonic will begin making 4680 cells in conjunction with Tesla. So those cells will apparently be produced in Tesla's Nevada factory, which is getting a big expansion. Tesla are finally going to expand that part of the factory in order to produce more 4680 cells. But Panasonic, of course, are the main company who are responsible for that production. Tesla had initially hoped to source cathode coils from companies like CATL and BYD, who it already gets batteries from. However, apparently BYD and CATL actually turned them down. But there's a reason for this. It's a bit more complicated than just saying no. Now, the first reason is that CATL and BYD want Tesla to buy the battery cells in the entire cell directly. But the other reason is that the part Tesla is actually buying from China doesn't last very well. In fact, they only last for about one week before you actually have to throw it away. Sourcing only cathode coils is rare because of the harsh environments and processes, says CNEVPost.com, required to actually produce the cells. And typically, a battery company will manufacture the entire cell on the same dust-free production line. In addition, it is costly to source cathode coils from China and ship them to the United States via air. Shipping them via an airplane versus a boat is much more expensive. Coils require high sealing for transportation. So you've got to really seal up every individual coil. They require special packaging and they're needed to be made into cells within a short period of time as coils will develop quality issues if they sit for more than a week. So the reason Tesla went to the trouble of importing the coils was to expand 4680 production capacity. In other words, they didn't have the capacity themselves to build more coils. Now the 4680 battery cell is the first ground up battery cell that Tesla have made themselves. And they unveiled that back in 2020. Tesla claimed that with this new design, battery costs could potentially be reduced by 50%. And Tesla since then has been attempting to work out certain processes to ramp fast production in the 4680 cell. However, Tesla announced in mid-June of 2023 that the Gigafactory in Texas had produced its 10 millionth 4680 battery. In mid-October, it said production had surpassed 20 million. But that's still not enough cells for Cybertruck production. 
after the Cybertruck began to be produced on the 10th of November, we learned that Tesla has capacity to build 24,000 Cybertrucks per year, and the bottleneck is its battery production. Tesla originally planned to mass produce 4680 cells in 2021, but small scale production was, well, it didn't happen for about two years. One of the reasons the Cybertruck's official launch was apparently delayed, according to these Chinese sources, was because of the 4680 production delays. Tesla has only achieved dry coding of the anode, not the cathode. So that's the reason it has to source this part of the battery, the coil from China. Now, of course, Tesla is working on um, ramping production of the coils itself. But clearly, it's been a challenge for the company to figure this part out. It, Tesla doesn't really talk about what's happening on the individual basic uh, cellular level behind the 4680 cells, but that's essentially what it is. Tesla has achieved dry coding of the anode part of the battery cell, but not the cathodes part of the cell. And that's been the holdup behind 4680 production ramp up. Now, part of this problem will probably be solved by Panasonic when they begin mass producing 4680 cells in the third quarter of this year. But the truth is, no one really knows what's happening with 4680 cell production. I hope this has shed a little bit of light into the processes behind the 4680 battery. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.